two lines question so it won't take that long uh, question two the curve c has an equation this is an equation of the curve y equals let me just write it y equals 2 x to the power of 5 over 2 a minus 4 x plus 3 okay part a is you have to find dy by dx okay in part a we have to find dy by dx and that's for two marks so that it is the derivative you know how to apply the derivative rule i'm applying derivative on both sides so the derivative with respect to x is you times the power with the starting number that gives you 5 over 2 times 2 will be just 5 and make 1 less in the power so 5 by 2 minus 1 would be 3 by 2 um let's just do that here 5 okay let me just write it 5 by 2 minus 1 and you know you also take the derivative of the base without the power and the derivative of x is going to be 1 so you usually don't write it okay minus you know the derivative of x is 1 with respect to x so i'll just write 4 times 1 and for the third term with 3 derivative of a constant term is 0 so i'll write 0 here okay so your dy by dx will come out to be 5 and x to the power of 3 by 2 minus 4 times 1 will be 4 plus 0 no need to write 0 so that's your dy by dx for 2 marks 2 easy marks part b would be the point p lies on the curve okay so c is the curve right it is mentioned above as you see the curve c has this equation this is the equation of the curve okay now point p lies on the curve what does it mean whenever they say a point lies on the curve it means you can substitute the coordinates of that point into the curve okay given that the x coordinate of p is 2 to the power of k so the x coordinate of p is 2 to the power of k we don't know what k is k is a constant okay but we don't know the value yet and um, okay we don't know the y no information given about y um the gradient of the curve second thing the gradient of the curve at the point p is 16 so at this point the gradient dy by dx is basically 16 okay so yes we are going to use this and which will lead us to the value of k and that is the requirement we get to find the value of k so what things are given we have the point p whose x coordinate is 2 power k and we don't know the y uh, lies at c okay lies at the curve and we already know that dy by dx at p is what was that 16 okay that is 16 okay so we are going to use these two things and we already found the derivative of uh, you know dy by dx which is 5x to the power 3 by 2 minus 4 so i'm going to use it dy by dx equals to 5x to the power 3 by 2 minus 4 okay i will replace the dy by dx at the point p okay at point p i'm going to substitute the point p in this equation now so i will replace x with 2 power k so 5 bracket 2 power k whole power 3 by 2 and then minus 4 i substituted the p point there and then replace my dy by dx with 16 right as my derivative is 16 at this point p so i substituted the point and replaced the value for dy by dx now to simplify that minus 4 uh, will when you move it to the other side become plus 4 so 16 plus 4 equals to 5 bracket 2k power of 3 by 2 right 16 plus 4 will get you 20 equals to 5 you multiply the powers it's 2 power k and then whole power 3 by 2 so you times the powers together that gets you 2 power 3 times k is 3k over 2 okay that is your 2 power so 5 is getting multiplied with this whole thing on the other side or you say i divide both sides by 5 5 gone 20 by 5 will get you 4 equals to 2 power 3k over 2 okay you know the rule for exponential functions when the bases are same and they are equal you can put the powers equal to each other so the other base is 2 you can make 4 like 2 okay so you can say i can write 4 as 2 power 2 equals to it's already 2 power 3k over 2 
so now the bases are same and they are equal so you cut them out and put the power t so 2 will be equals to 3k over 2 okay now 2 is in division um, on the other side it will get multiplied 2 times 2 equals to 3k and it gets you 4 equals to 3k and divide both sides by 3 you get k as 4 over 3 and that is what they wanted you to find the value of k okay and here is the question number two for you okay so the part b was uh, b was for three marks and the part a was just to find the derivative that was for two marks and here's the complete five marks